1982 mọi hoạt động của các vị tại khu vực biển này là trái phép xâm phạm nghiêm trọng quyền chủ quyền This is an ocean battleground where dangerous territorial disputes unfold. Two communist regimes at loggerheads. With national pride, sovereignty, and territory that they both claim as their own at stake. From the Vietnamese city of Da Nang, just a handful of foreign journalists set out for a journey to a maritime flash zone. Our destination is the disputed Chinese oil rig, erected 30 kilometres from the equally contested Paracel Islands in May, and now a focus for an escalating territorial battle. We're on a Vietnamese PR offensive and venturing to waters that so often before have been a no-go zone for foreign journalists. As you can see behind me, we really are in the middle of nowhere. But very soon we'll be moved from this small Coast Guard ship onto a much larger ship. And it's that ship that will take us much closer to the Chinese oil rig. Vietnamese Coast Guard ship H003. For more than a month and a half, it's patrolled the adjacent waters, stalking the oil rig. On the horizon, it looms large as a symbol of China's power, a might that's on show across the South China Sea. The Chinese oil rig is just over here to my left, and just behind us now, there is a Chinese Coast Guard ship that's begun to follow this ship. Now, the captain has told us that we should remain inside for now, but he'll give us the cue when we can come out and start filming exactly what's unfolding. Up to two times a day, CG8003 dances with the Chinese in a two-step that has all the potential to go wrong. As it edges closer to the rig, China's Coast Guard springs to life like a guard dog awoken. Cease immediately all your activities and leave Vietnamese waters. From a loudspeaker, Vietnam's propaganda blares out in three languages, Vietnamese, Chinese and English. This ship, number 8003, together with Vietnamese fishing boats, have approached the oil rig in order to request them to stop immediately all their illegal activities or operations on the Vietnamese exclusive economic zone. Seriously, CG8003 powers away. But to its right, we see a much closer encounter. Well, we've just moved quite close to the Chinese oil rig, and when we did move closer, a number of Chinese ships surrounded us and started to push us out the other way. Now, the Vietnamese were saying over a loudspeaker that these are Vietnamese sovereign waters and that China has no right to be here. Later, a video provided by the Vietnamese Coast Guard to 7.30 clearly shows a hit. A Chinese boat, they say, ramming one of its feet. But Beijing insists its boats have been rammed more than a thousand times. This morning at about 8 a.m., we received the order to approach the Chinese oil rig, which was placed illegally in the Vietnamese Sea Sovereignty. When we approached to about 10 nautical miles to the oil rig, there were many Chinese vessels preventing us from getting closer. Four-star Colonel Lu Chen Tang has been at sea since May. Along with around 40 crew members, he sees this life as his patriotic duty. We came here in a peaceful way in order to request China to withdraw. Their activities should be condemned. The billion-dollar Chinese oil rig is nestled south of the Paracel Islands, which both China and Vietnam claim ownership of. In 1974, the Chinese seized the Paracels from Vietnam in a bloody battle, killing more than 70 Vietnamese troops. 
Every week on a Monday morning we have a flag salute ceremony to show our respect for our national flag, which our fathers and brothers sacrificed their life and blood for to dye the flag red. But while Vietnam struggles to defend its territorial claim, China is bedding down and making its superpower mark. For Vietnamese fishermen who are being forced closer to their own coast, its livelihoods lost. Since the oil rig was erected, their Chinese competitors have massed in the area. They're guarded too by a vigilant coast guard. The port city of Da Nang is the Vietnamese front line. It sits about 300 kilometres west of the disputed waters. There we catch up with Captain Dang Vang Nan, who shows us the damage caused to his boat after it was allegedly rammed by the Chinese last month. When this boat was hit at its back, it was rammed and it capsized. This is the video released by Vietnam of the incident, taken from an iPhone on an adjacent boat. At that moment, seven crew members rushed to the front of the boat. Other members and I were stuck in the cabin. The cook was stuck in the kitchen. I got out first and the other members broke the window to get out. All crew members survived. Beijing says the boat capsized after harassing the Chinese fishing ship. As anti-Chinese sentiment sweeps through Vietnam, in Da Nang, a Chinese temple stands in the centre of the city as an ever-present reminder of a very powerful neighbour to the north.